Hey coaches, uh, thanks for tuning in for another episode of T-Bone Offense here. We're going to continue on with our jet series, uh, getting into our play action pass. We call it whip, uh, also known as a jet pass. I'm going to show you also a couple little wrinkles and variations that we can throw in off of this. Okay, so again, just like all the series, we want things to look the same. So we're going to start with our zoom motion, full speed from our Z coming through. Now on a whip, we're going to let him clear. Okay, we're going to let him get past the quarterback. So the timing of some of these plays is just a little bit different. And we've just found that it helps with congestion and making the play run a little smoother so we don't have any guys running into each other. So on whip, we want to let that guy get to about the guard. And then we're going to snap the ball. And we want him to just climb here right behind this uh, the, the H over here. And then he's going to get flat and fast. We want to make sure that he's staying about a yard across the line of scrimmage. And he's going straight to the sideline. We do not want him to climb and get depth because it's going to create spacing problems with our whip row. So we want to make sure that he's wide and outside over here. Uh, he's the first read that we're looking for. We're looking to throw that ball to him right away. Uh, so our quarterback is going to mesh with him. He's going to reverse pivot just like he would again. We're coming here. We're pivoting, and that's where that, that, that rollout comes. So our quarterback's got to get depth to get around, and then he's looking to hit this right away. It's a real quick hit and pass. We love this as a two-point play, uh, short yard situation when you've been real successful with your jet sweep. Uh, this often works very well for us. So now the, the fullback is going to come. He's the edge setter. He's going to replace our H here. So where everybody on the front line is going to reach block. And then our fullback is going to take a wider angle here. He's coming just outside of our Z. And he's going to set the edge for our quarterback, making sure that we seal everything back inside. Okay. Our H is going to take about an 8 to 10 yard route. He's going to outside release again to give this guy right here that reach block step. And then he's going to climb to about an 8 to 10 yard depth, pushing vertical. And then he's going to pivot and whip back to the inside. So as he's coming here, he's going to stick that right foot. And he's whipping and he's getting straight back to the sideline here. Okay. And, and he's going to be at about an 8 to 10 yard depth. Again, we're not, we don't want to drift. We want to stay flat. And then this should time up as we, as we draw it up. When the quarterback looks, this guy should be dragging right here. This guy should be a wider. And really what we end up with is like a flood concept over here. And then our X is going to run off and run deep. And then on the back side, we do some things with our tight end. You can get creative with it. Uh, we tell him, you know, you're going to take the angle like you're reach blocking, and then you're going to push for a post, okay? Or sometimes we'll break that off in a drag. If there's a safety sitting there, just as a last resort, as we're coming across, sometimes that'll be wide open. Um, and then if we, if we see a defense that's flowing really, really hard with us, we can always sneak him out the back door on basically a naked screen, okay? And what we'll do is we'll just get everything rolling this way. And if you've got a quarterback with a really good arm, Okay, he just goes here, he reaches, and then he kind of sets right here. We get a nice roll out here. Everything's flowing to this direction. Quarterback sets, throws the ball back to our tight end, and we've hit home runs on that before. Uh, so just a couple of wrinkles that we can do on the backside. Again, this is our, uh, our whip, and it's going to be off a of zoom motion in our jet series. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to hit us up.